Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and yes we were residing in Me Messyville. We have parked, got out the car, and sitting down <laughs> in Messyville town. Okay, yes, because I couldn't believe it when I heard it and when I read it. I was like, God damn candy, here we go again. Here we go again. And my eyes the brother's voice. Here we go again. Oh, Todd, 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 when we need you to show up and show out, you always absent. You always absent. Why you get a hold to Candy's phone? You the closest thing to her. Closest thing to her that you can snatch that phone out of her hand when she getting to when she's getting in her feelings. Okay? Yes, she was getting in her feelings. Now you made up this show or you pushed for it to become into fruition. Okay. With the help of Don Juan, I'm sure. Okay, and I'm surprised that Don Juan... Don Juan, why you ain't take candy phone? You know you need your job. And the lucrative perks she gives you. And she's sitting over here trying to fuss with somebody on social media. Over some $12 an hour. What's wrong with her? You in HR? You doing the HR paperwork, Don Juan? What the hell what's wrong with you? Child, Shandrika went out there on episode 2 of uh, uh, season 1 of Candy and the Gang Gang. Yes, she went off on, uh, well, she didn't go off on Candy, uh, but she was talking to her colleagues about Candy need to be paying her more money. She a hostess. I'm like, wait just a minute. Wait just a minute. Is she paying you for this show, girl? Is she giving you some residual ends on this show by you being featured? Tell me she ain't, okay? Then that'll be an issue. But if she's giving you some residual ends... She break, breaking out some ends for you to be on a platform such as a reality show. And you getting your $12 an hour. Girl, you should be blessed. And Candy, that ain't Vanderpump material. You out here going at it on social media trying to prove a point. Just like the sad, sad tired ass thing you did with that ice cube thing. You were charging people over there for ice. And then you're going to try to go on social media and uh, defend yourself by putting some bullshit up there about what you found, you found out on Google. <laughs> oh, why people charge for ice in their beverages at a restaurant. Girl, if you don't sit your ass down, now you're doing the same damn thing with something different. Now, you know. You were just in, um, I mean, I think Phaedra had represented the boy, and then she, Phaedra, uh, dismissed him to somebody else she knew, and he ended up winning the case on some little guy that was, you were overworking over there. He's supposed to have been planning your events and doing secretarial work and everything. You were underpaying that brother, too. And he got off because you had made sure it wasn't disclosed in social media. But that was a hot topic back then, how you messed over that child. Now, if it wasn't for those beautiful ladies right there, you and Todd would not have a show, okay? Because the idea may have come from him, but your Aunt Bertha, your Aunt Nora, and Miss Joyce, <laughs> they are total revenue stream, all right? And Miss Bertha don't play. She carried that pocketbook and she had it really close to her. And when she get to looking at you and not blinking, you know you done did something wrong. But she was trying to fuss with Shandrika. You get in your feelings about what Shandrika said about she need to be getting more money. Girl, I would have just laughed at her and act like, you know, what my cousin was telling me wasn't true. Because tell you, tell the truth. And Shane the devil, you could have just fired her. How did I get that picture of Portia? Let me see. Was I trying to compare them two together? And let me see. <laughs> let me see. Maybe I was trying to do. Uh, nope. I I know why I put Portia in there because Candy and Todd was feeling Portia at the time, and Candy had gave Portia a job in one of her plays. So see, Candy love. Love. Loving on people. You know what I'm saying? For a lack of a better word that I could find at the time. So I wonder, is Candy and you and Todd doing her too? Like y'all tried to do Portia. Because you know, you and Portia locked lips. Because you said that she kissed you and you kissed her back. And it was magic. Okay? But, cha, 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 cha. This is a hot mess right here. Wait a minute. I think I definitely mixed up my pictures here. No, I didn't. Okay, I'm kind of straight. 
maybe it was something I was trying to go, but I don't know what I did. Sometimes my pictures get discombobulated in there. But child, I was like, Candy, why are you on social media? Todd had said that you spend too much time on social media. And I, I'm beginning to believe him now. Because you saw this show. You saw all the things, the comings and goings. Because you were there taping, I'm sure. You ain't took no flight out nowhere. And if you did, you should have been enjoying yourself in first class. In your window seat. <laughs> okay. And paying the haters no mind. Whether they're in your family. Or whether they're in your family in your restaurant. It does not matter. You going around here talking about 725. Can't nobody live off of no 725. So that shit shouldn't even came out your mouth. Shouldn't even have come out your mouth. Now you tell me. Over there at Blazing Steakhouse. Uh, steak and seafood house over there at your other establishment. I know you ain't paying them twelve dollars, and you got some unrighteous prices going on over there. That's right, unrighteous, whoo, mean ass prices over there. Okay, again, and you paying your hostess what twelve dollars an hour? I don't think so. Person can't even live off that. But then again, I'm surprised that Shendrika is not doing something with her degree. She has a four year degree. At least that's what she said. She should be doing something else. But if she's trying to use Candy as a platform that she could step into something else in the industry, then she should not be saying anything. But Candy, you have the will to fire and hire. So therefore, I don't understand why you felt you needed to come in and put your two cents and a dollar's worth in on social media that, hey, she getting paid good because the... Um, Minimum wage for the state of Georgia is seven twenty five. I'm like candy, candy, candy girl. Have you lost your mind? Have you lost? Don't want to get her. All right, and you probably told her you didn't want her to have no restaurants because this is the bullshit you had to put up with, and she was gonna pull you into her bullshit. I like I'm out. Nope, I would say no, candy. If we're on a show, we're gonna pay them a little bit above that. If you're not going to give them anything extra from the show's taping and them premiering on the show and them showing their comments and goings on how they're doing in the restaurant. Then that would have been something else. But see that little boy named Rashad saying that you had him working in both places and he's not going to get the same pay when he's over there at the OLG. And I'm like, why not, Candy? He's still a server or Hell, I don't know what he was. I knew at one time, but I don't know now. You had him as a server, okay? And you, you that, them folks right now, they going to look like they're going to get into it. Either him or Tori, and they're going to tear the house down. And I'm just waiting for it. I'm just waiting for it. <laughs> or him and Tori is going to tear that house down. Because they don't play. And then they gay, too. Shoot. And they men, too. Girl, call the ambulance because somebody going to get hurt up in there. All right. So, we don't want you to speak on this, Candy. We don't want you to speak on this. Let them folks live their life. Let them talk because you know what home you go to. You know the people that you really surround yourself to. And to tell you the true shame on you, Candy, if you love them people like you say you love them and you want to get them the best, why is she not making $15 an hour? I'm just saying. Because I'm sure she's not getting 40 hours. So why couldn't you have upgraded her pay? Where it's a livable situation. Even if she is working full time for you. Wouldn't that be a livable situation? But like I said. I'm on the outside looking in. And if you're not giving her no perks. Or no check. For being on candy in the game. And she's exposing her life. And how she lives it through you all in the restaurant. Shame on you, Candy. Shame on you. But we're going to go into social media. UrbanBell.com wrote up an article about Candy addressing Shandrika over social media. Okay, and like I said, they ain't boss chick moves right there. That's trashy moves, Candy. 
And you're trying to ele- elevate yourself, baby. You're trying to move into another circle of friends. This Hollywood life you're trying to live. And you're going to see them. T- well, I can't say. I let me retract that. Because <laughs> I know it's something else. And Mama Joyce is something else. And Bur- Aunt Bertha, she don't, she, she don't care about the shits. Because she's going to be coming at you. She ain't going to tell you she's finna get you. She's just going to go on and get you. And that's the real G. <laughs> They don't say what they're going to do. They just show up and show out. And then they'll try to explain themselves after the fact. But on birthday ain't for them shit. She ain't for no shit with her sister uh, Joyce. Nor her sister Bertha. And she damn sure ain't going to want neither one of y'all putting y'all hands on her child. Miss Kim. Okay. So I got to do a video about them. That was just too cute. Too cute. But anyway. We're going to go into the article. It says Shandrika. Comments got back to Candy quickly because she vented in front of Candy's cousin Patrick. Yeah, he's a snitch. Snitch gets stitches. He didn't know that. But anyway, and he's not here for anyone speaking negative about their role at LG. Oh, LG. Well, he didn't do anything. He should have just walked up from the table, told them good night, and that he's going to tell his cousin on how they are misbehaving misbehaving talking behind her back about what she's not giving them and that's would have been a real g because i'm telling you if melvin the light-skinned heaven said guy was there the other cousin they wouldn't have said they couldn't have said anything they can talk about philip all day they can talk about don juan but i'm pretty sure he wouldn't have let nobody talk about his motherly somewhat cousin uh of a friend, Candy. He wouldn't let that slid, slide just like oh, uh, old punk ass, uh, what name? Patrick. But anyway, going back to the article, it said uh, hours ago, Candy responded to Shandrika's comments as well as criticism from viewers who also felt like Shandrika is not being paid enough. One Twitter user said that no one should be surprised that Shandrika is being paid twelve dollars an hour. Because Candy is known for being a bit on the cheap side. I like to say frugal. frugal but if you like to say cheap, cheap, okay. Plus our restaurants pay minimum wage. In response to this, Candy tweeted, Minimum wage in Georgia is actually seven twenty five. So she was tripping. She's not getting minim- minimum wage. Now like Candy would. Really? Five more dollars added on to that candy. Oh, really, girl? Stop that mess, candy. You don't know him. nobody can't live off no a shit. Or even a, a college student that's in college and trying to work part-time can't live off no 725 candy. Girl, stop your mess. But yes, honey, um, she goes on to say meaning candy. Um, she said also... Uh, more to another Twitter user, she wrote minimum wage in Georgia seven twenty five. So twelve dollars is definitely not minimum wage, and the restaurant runs on a budget, not an unlimited budget. I'm just saying, okay, Ken, and I'm just saying to you, with all the projects you have going on and all the revenue streams and all the tourist people that come to Georgia and the prices that you have on your menu, okay should compensate you paying your workers more than 725 you should set the standard baby girl of being an elite class of people that want to serve the community right you see what i'm saying so it's not far fetched and it's not unheard of that you could have paid more now like i said i'm with you on that price of seven i mean uh twelve dollars an hour if she's getting some money for appearing on your show okay Because without your staff and your aunts, there would be no show. Okay, I'm just saying. I am just saying. Candy Burris. But yes, Candy tried to get on her social media platform again. Making an ass out of herself. You know, trying to be up here fighting with folks. Or verbally fighting with folks. Talking about, I am paying them good. Minimum wage is $7.25. Candy, please. We even telling anybody that can listen to us. 725 just ain't gonna cut it okay 725 is not gonna cut it and that's talking about in any state okay in any state 725 just ain't gonna do it can it ain't gonna do it you didn't work for no 725 girl but then you had other aspirations okay you want to be in the music industry so that's like an independent contractor lending themselves to making more money and signing and inking uh multi-million dollar deal so okay 
but she's not in that uh, arena right now but i'm sure she keeps hanging around you you all keep being friends or whatnot and not just co-workers or are you having an establishment where you're the owner and she helps your company by her skills of hosting your consumers when they come into your building for services okay but uh yeah can you need to really think about that nobody on your staff should be making really no 12 dollars an hour okay we gotta do better we want better we gotta do better okay and you always talking about loyalty girl in atlanta can't nobody live on no 12 dollars an hour can you and damn sure can't live on no 725 but stop putting yourself out here on social media you're supposed to be up a shalom class now we don't we don't come off our chariots and deal with peasants okay but we probably don't see let's say your employees you don't come out of character with them because first of all you're too damn old to be coming out of character you in your 40s i think she drink us her late 20s or early 30s okay she should be doing a lot more and i think she's a fiance of somebody so her husband or a future husband need to be stepping up his game stepping up his pussy okay that's how they would say all right but anyway that's all i have for this show i just wanted to say candy you wrong girl i had to knock you on your hand because that ain't a good look that ain't a good look because you weren't in the area of the entertainment industry and you want to just be a regular everyday person making it do what it do whether you went to college you got a degree or you're just working hard labor like working in you know uh warehouses and stuff like that being a truck driver all this shit is hard work anybody working in a warehouse farm okay what you do that's some hard work because i was introduced to that for a very short period of time but i did some hard work okay that, that that ups thing uh and that fedex thing that's some hard ass shit so them folks should be getting paid what the post office people should be getting paid you know what i'm saying it's ridiculous that you can get paid you know real well on the federal job but amazon and federal express and you uh ups gotta go around here uh-uh that's some hard ass work it really is. you'll be on muscles and everything shit i know i wasn't there long enough to be on no muscles <laughs> i got the hell off Ooh, I think I worked for that brown UPS people for two weeks. One week in training and one week out there in that damn truck. I said, hell no to the no, 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 girl. I got to get the hell out of here. And I sure did. I burnt rubber out of here. <laughs> I know before it was time to go, child. It was one, you know, I how to convey your belt come into the truck while you loading, trying to make a pyramid. That's how they call it. I said, hell no, nah, I got to go. Because I was applying for one of them jobs where you rode around in those little, what do you call it, little golf cart things and deliver things to each station where a truck was being loaded. But they had hired somebody before me that ranked higher than me or whatever or had more experience and they gave it to that old chick. I said, hell to nah, y'all ain't going to have me up here listening to no bosses. Man, I was much thinner then. I think I was uh, a cool maybe 150 child please i was fine yes i was like a coke bottle but i said hell no nah. when that thing snatched my gold hairbone chain when i was trying to call myself lifting boxes i said nope <laughs> i told my brother because he was out there too trying to make it because back then in the 80s when you make it 10 and 12 dollars now you were doing good okay i got the hell out of there i said uh-uh i can't do it this damn conveyor belt and got stuck and i told my hairbone chain them hairbone chain was expensive back then i think mine was like 350 or something like that i said i gotta go bro um you, you gonna follow me or you gonna wait he waited another month and then his ass left <laughs> saying, we i can't do it i can't do it dog i salute oh my amazon ups people postal service people uh who have we got out there fedex people i sincerely salute you because that's some hard ass work okay but that's all i got on this video guys like a little gotta have more make sure you tune in because you know i have something shady to say or something important i want y'all to know <laughs> either or it's all mixed together like a, a fruit punch all right a shady fruit punch look at that y'all but y'all take it easy and i'll see y'all next video Bye bye